As you can see, we have our parallels in place. We are setting our bore stop on our parallels, making sure our parallels will, parallels will not be hit by our cutting tool. The next procedure is going to be raising the spindle so we can center the spindle. Your centering tool for centering your spindle. Setting the mic block, we have a, a piece of steel in our mic block, we're going to clamp that down. We have a standard mic block, standard micrometer also. We're going to rotate the micrometer around to three inches. Once you're at three inches, you're going to take your micrometer push it solidly against your measuring block, double checking that you're sitting at three inches. Take your Allen tool and tighten your set screw for your micrometer. The micrometer has now been set. Steel block. <coughs> I have already taken a measurement on my bore see how high I need to go for the next cut. And my tool is already set. Depending on what cut and how much you are trying to take out of it will depend and determine on your micrometer what your measurement should be. When everything's tight and you've got your measurement, I have to reset this thing. tightening your set screws on your cutter, you want to tighten the bottom screw first, making sure that you have no light between your micrometer and your cutting tool, which is on the tip of your cutters. Tighten your lower set screw first. Tighten your top one second. Double check, make sure you have no light between here. I've got light, so I need to readjust. Push down and re tighten the bottom set screw. And we're good. So we loosen the cutting tool, take it out of our micrometer and our mic block, set the tool in the spindle, make sure you slide it all the way back. Tighten the center set screw first. Do not over tighten. You can strip them out. Your second one, second. Start your machine at whatever speed you want to cut at. We're going to go with a fast cut. And engage our spindle to start going down using our flow speed control. We're going to slow it down so when we actually get to our bore stock, we don't slam into it. And our cut has started. You can now adjust your feed for a faster or slower bore. 